we sat in, in this house. Okay. Let me raise my hand first. <laughs> let me rephrase that. I've sat in this house before. <laughs> And begin to turn a deaf ear. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. You say, well, man, how can that? It's easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Believe me, yeah. it could happen. Mm -hmm. And if you don't think it can, mm -hmm. it will. <laughs> yes, amen. Proverbs 4 and 1 in the Amplified, it reads this. Hear, my sons, the instructions of a father and pay attention in order to gain and to know intellect, discernment, comprehension, and interpretation of spiritual matters. Wow. So you mean to tell me that first of all, He's kind of making a distinction here because he says, Here, my sons. See, the thing that I begin to tell my sons is this, that if you can just listen to what I say, you don't have to go through some things. Right. So here God is speaking to us. And he is saying that if you can only listen to my instructions, yeah. he said, and out of my instructions, mm -hmm. you will begin to gain and to know ah. these things. Mm -hmm. Not things of the world, mm -hmm. but it said spiritual things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things of that matter. Yeah. You know, oh, so much we yeah. get caught up and we worried about just the little things up in there. Yeah. But the thing about it is that these are distractions that begin to take us away from the things that we're supposed to be able to do. That's all it is. Distractions. As we can see here, the first thing that God says here, listen. And I said earlier, we just haven't been listening. The Father's voice is always speaking and it is telling us to pay attention in order to gain and to know Spiritual matters. Mm -hmm. That's all he wants us to know. Yeah. Yeah. Spiritual matters. Yeah. Things that concern him should concern us. Yeah. 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 Wow. Those are things that... No other things that we should be... You know, I mean, true, true, true. We're, we're, we're human and, and we, you know, uh, uh, worry about, you know, things. Of, you know, I, I, I've been there. The only thing that I'm worried about right now, and I've told, uh, I've told my kids... Is I'm worried about making sure that I do the needful things that God has called me to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is I'm more worried, uh, or I should say, I should say worried, but I make sure that my wife is taken care of. Amen. That's the most important thing. Our son called us up and he said, "Hey," he says, "Where are you guys at?" <laughs> Where you at? Like we, I didn't know we had to check in. Right. I looked at my wife and I told her, I said, Hey, go on and see where we at. I said, Why would you ask us that? He said, Because at any minute, he said, I know you guys now. Because you'd be in a different state and you wouldn't even tell us. <laughs> but it makes my heart good because I told him this. I said, yeah. I said, you know what? I said, but thank God that we're able to trust you now. That you've matured in areas of your life. That we can be able to get away and not have to worry about knucklehead things that you do. <laughs> or have to worry about who coming over, who you going to sneak over. <laughs> and, and, and see, this is what God says it here. There, these are instructions, see, and, and we have, God has given us instructions on things to do. You know? And so all I do is I just, you know, give them instructions. Look, uh, 
20, uh, 21 years old and the 22 year old I have at the house. Yes. <laughs> they have an instruction. They have a curfew. Yes. All right, man. The latest, 2.30. Mm -hmm. After 2.30, I don't even want to hear that garage. <laughs> but they know already. See, these are the things on, on spiritual matters that God wants to instruct us in. And, and that's what he wants to do because he doesn't want us to lose out on these things. You know? And God is just good. If we ask people of God, are not hearing God, we aren't being led of God. So saying that, we are being led by someone or something else that could be because of our environment. Yes, true. Well, and we say that the environment really doesn't control us. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. Let me raise my hand again. <laughs> I was a falling victim to that. <laughs> Ran the streets, sold dope, gangbang, became the biggest customer, my own customer, <laughs> of my own product. <laughs> and it just happened to fall that way. And it seems like we say sometimes, ah, oh, that's all right. I mean, I can go do this. And I can do that. I, I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. you, you, you might be for a little while. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Just, just for a little while. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's true. But you have to find, or I shouldn't even say find, but you have to draw a line. Mm -hmm. And you have to mm -hmm. feel that in here. Yeah. 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 When that pull comes and say, yeah. Man, I, I, I shouldn't really be doing this. Or I need to, you know, kind of. See, we were taught that. You know why? Even if we didn't never hear the instructions from our Heavenly Father, we've heard them before through somebody else. But how do we not know that God had spoken through them in order for us to hear them? We never know. We never know. See, we have been told here in this ministry that whoever has your ear has your destiny. That's true. So true. So true. So true. So true. And, and we've seen it uh, uh, throughout periods of times, uh, whether if it's the environment and people listening to what they're not supposed to be listening to and it begins to take them out of the course of what God has for them. Yes. So now they wind themselves up in situations where they shouldn't have. That's just how God works. You know? Some of us have been like Eve in the garden when the, when the serpent said, did God not say? God's voice got distorted and the serpent began to speak to what was inside of, of her. Her, who, her Eve spoke to her desires. That's why hearing God's voice is important. 